Hi, it's my favorite time of day, the time of day when I get to read a good book to you. Today we're going to read The North Star and it's by Peter H. Reynolds. If you like this book, you should check out his other books on this channel. He's a great author and illustrator. Where I live, it's about to be the beginning of the school year and that means kind of a new journey for us. And sometimes when you're going on a new journey, it's kind of scary and difficult. But this is a good book to remind you that if you follow your heart, it can lead you to the right places. All right, the North Star. A sweet breeze met the boy as he awoke to his journey. He traveled on all fours for quite some time, and he grew, and he paused. One day, he had the urge to stand, to walk. It made his journey easier. He could run, too, but for the most part, he walked. He wasn't afraid of much. He wandered the fields, exploring, sometimes stopping, sometimes going happily in circles, sometimes dancing, sometimes napping. One day, the boy saw an oak leaf drift and land on the water. He wondered how the leaf managed to float, the way the stars seemed to float in the night sky. A spray of sand interrupted his thoughts. Where are you going in such a hurry? asked the boy. But the rabbit shot out of sight, disappearing onto a path the boy had never noticed before. The boy left the floating leaf and wandered toward the path. There he saw a cat. The cat purred gently. Where did the rabbit go in such a hurry? The boy asked the cat. He was in a rush to start his journey. It's time for you to start your journey too. Oh, but I have been on a journey, the boy cried. I've seen many wonderful things. Some I understand and some I don't like how that leaf floats on the water. Well, that's fascinating, but I'd hate for you to be late. You don't want to be left behind. Behind? Who's ahead of me? You wouldn't believe how many. You know, you're not the only one on this journey. Plenty ahead of you, lots to follow. The boy began walking down the path. It stretched out far ahead of him. Signs kept pointing him along the way. Some parts of the journey were easy, and some were very difficult. Although he was following the well-worn path, he had a growing feeling that he was lost. The forest seemed to be growing thicker. The soil was wet and muddy, making every step a struggle. Clouds had rolled in overhead, and the darkness closed in around him. After many difficult miles, he could not take another step. He noticed an oak leaf drift from the sky. It sailed with ease. It swirled on a breeze and was carried deep into the forest. The leaf disappeared behind a grove of trees. He stepped off the path to follow it. The boy found the leaf floating on a pond in a peaceful clearing like a delicate boat on a dreamy voyage. His thoughts were interrupted by a voice. Oh, there you are. I was worried, said the cat. Don't wander off like that. Now hurry, you're falling behind. So the boy ran and ran and ran. And as he ran, he noticed the forest getting darker and thicker. The muddy ground became covered with water. He could no longer see the path. He sloshed through the swamp until he came to a clearing in the forest. There he saw a bird. You look lost, the bird said. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm lost, the boy replied. I really hadn't thought about it. Hadn't thought about it, said the bird. You must have some idea of where you're going, yes? Well, I've been following the path. It seems as if many people have taken it before me. 
and there have been many signs along the way, and a very helpful cat guided me back to the path when I started to wander. The crickets fell silent as the bird asked, but where do you want to be going? I'm not sure, said the boy as he looked around at the dark tangled swamp, but I do know that this isn't where I want to be. I guess I am lost. The bird said, ask yourself where it is you want to go and then follow the signs you already know. What signs, where are they? But the bird flew off into the cloudy night sky. The boy looked up into the sky, something he had not done in a very, very long time. He tried desperately to see where the bird had gone. And as he did, the clouds seemed to melt. And there above him, was a star, a very bright star. The boy stared at the star and felt a pang in his heart, a tingling in his spine, a whisper in his ear. He could hear the star. The voice sounded so familiar. The boy began to walk toward the star. As he did, he noticed many other stars stretched out above him like a great big map. They had all been there all along, waiting for him. He stopped and rested a moment, savoring his guiding stars. What are you staring at? croaked a voice behind him. What is up there? What's so interesting? The boy waited closer and answered, stars, I'm looking at the stars. What stars? asked the frog. I see a dark sky and mist and low green clouds. You don't see them? the boy asked. They're helping guide me out of the swamp. Would you like to come with me? No, thank you, the frog smiled. I'm quite at home here in the bog. I swam here as a tadpole and grew up here, and here I will stay. The boy realized at that moment that everyone has a different journey, different signs, and different stars, their own constellations. The boy left the frog, who croaked a farewell. Good luck on your journey. As he ventured beyond the swampy forest, the boy heard a cry. It was the rabbit who had been in such a hurry earlier, looking tired and hungry. He was stranded on a limb in the middle of the rushing river. The boy waded out, but realized that the river was too deep. The rabbit was trapped. Then he saw an oak leaf drift by. It gave him an idea. The boy fashioned a boat out of swamp grass and twigs and rescued the rabbit. The boy smiled, having helped make the rabbit's journey easier. The boy looked up. He noticed that the star had become even brighter. He followed the star and as he did, the muddy ground grew drier, then grassy, then soft and sandy. Finally, he came to rest atop a dune. There below him was a beach and a boat. The boy looked out toward the horizon. The star glowed steadily, reminding him that he still had a long journey ahead, but it was his own journey, his very own wonderful journey. the beginning instead of the end, right? Because he's going on his journey. And as he goes along his journey, he's helping others with their journey also. I hope you liked that book. And if you did, check out his other books on this channel and like and subscribe. All right, I will see you next time. Bye, Evan.